Haunted Mansion fans, have you ever wanted the opportunity to spend the night in your favorite creepy Disney attraction? Well, the Ghoulish Sanctuary, an Airbnb located about 15 minutes from Disney World, offers the next best thing. Yes, you can stay in a completely immersive and themed environment that's just like the Haunted Mansion. So come take a look and tour with us of this amazing Airbnb that is not to be missed by any Haunted Mansion fan. The Ghoulish Sanctuary is a labor of love created by superfans and wannabe Imagineers Aaron Blanton and Estelle Olivia. They created the sanctuary by hand over the course of several months, going to painstaking lengths to make sure every detail is ride accurate. It's a passion project designed to give you an experience you'll never forget. So we are going to start our tour right here in the main parlor. And when you first walk in to this place, you go, holy Phineas, I'm in the Haunted Mansion. It is so cool. Everywhere you look, you see little details, you know, from, from little gargoyles to, to the photos, to the, you know, to the wallpaper, um, fireplace. It's, it's amazing. Um, so let's take a closer look at some of these amazing details. One of my favorite things here is, I mean, I just love this fireplace. Yeah, it's fake, but I love the, I love the glow of it. It's certainly set to mood. It is a fantastic source of low light, uh, as well as the, the electronic candles. Uh, just amazing. Look at the, uh, the curtains with the, with the beads here. Um, those gargoyles that I was talking about, little faces, or, or, or some people just say they're ghosts, that these are the 999 happy haunts as you walk through the, the Haunted Mansion or ride through the Haunted Mansion, that, that these are actually ghosts. Um, some people think that they're gargoyles. Um, whatever. There they are. <laughs> um, the lamps are amazing. So the lamps flicker and fade in and out, just like the lights in the Haunted Mansion. You'll see how it gets dim and brighter, up oh, like that. And uh, this, uh, this whole area is a very uh, low light, very low light. So it definitely gives the feeling of the Haunted Mansion. Um, even cobwebs are spread across certain things, hanging off of the walls and the lamps and things like that. Uh, look at this amazing table set up here. It's got like a little stringed instrument. Uh, and we're going to pop right over here and spin around. And you'll notice that uh, there's my tripod uh, on this side of the room. We have the famous Tomb Sweet Tomb sign right here. And uh, some more little lighting covered in cobwebs. Amazing. Furniture is amazing. Look at that. It really gives you a very cool vibe. Uh, there's the... The ship that changes, look at that, as you walk by, just like in the mansion, you've got the changing portrait on the wall. And uh, look at this, I love that. And that could even be found in probably uh, Tower of Terror. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, outside, there's a conservatory. And uh, we're gonna take a look at that in just a moment. First, let's go take a look at the dining area. The dining area, look at that. More cobwebs, nice little detailing on that chandelier. Comes set for six people right here with the glasses and the bowls and, and all that. And you've got uh, some of the ballroom paintings here of the duelists. Very, very cool, along with some more detailed wallpaper. Um, some fun curtains right here. And uh, this is what the what the uh, dining place settings look like. Um, awesome. This is so awesome. It's a fantastic little, little dining area. The Ghoulish Sanctuary has three bedrooms, a full kitchen, and two bathrooms that's perfect for hosting up to six happy haunts. Taking a look at the kitchen, there are some amazing stretching portraits right here on the wall. Uh, you'll notice it's also low light to give you that nice, uh, that nice ambience of the Haunted Mansion. Uh, some little ooh, ooh, 
spooky uh spooky little lighting here guest book to sign in and uh it's a fully stocked kitchen you can uh definitely uh save some money from eating out by stocking your own kitchen and preparing stuff here um, let's take a little closer look here's a little closer look at those stretching portraits that hang on the wall here over the counter and the sink Got a nice double sink and uh Lots of things to prepare food with. You got, uh, you know, coffee pots and blenders and toasters. You got a full stove and oven. Uh, a little, little Cuisinart right here. Uh, freezer fridge, full size. Uh, microwave. Inside the cabinets here, you've got more uh, dishes that uh, you can use. Um, so, you know, it, it comes fully stocked here. I haven't looked in all the drawers to see what's here, but uh, everywhere I look, you've definitely got what you need to, to keep your family here. Um, right over here, if we look in uh, the cabinet here, there's more uh, crock pots, pots and pans. There's a vacuum. Uh, just like, you know, everything you would have at home. There's, there's plastic wrap and oil and things like that and uh, air conditioning unit sits right inside there so very 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 uh very very cool kitchen uh everything that you would need right there the first bedroom we're going to take a look at is the bride's attic and you can see that they've got the frank and constance banner up here um there's lots of little fun details you can find here's a little calliope uh, i guess a little uh, merry-go-round horse um, as well as some different broken artifacts and things that you would find uh, in an attic. This lamp here, again, like all the lamps kind of flicker off and on. Very, very cool detail. So let's take a closer look around this bedroom. So there are a couple of portraits in here, and it's a little hard to see um, because it's daylight outside right now, so there's some light creeping in the window. But these are the, um, the portraits of Constance and her husband and that hang you know, just like in the Haunted Mansion that are in here. Um, creepy little rope on the wall, as well as a storage container down here. It's got a kind of a ghostly face on it. There's sitting there in the, the corner, a bird cage like you would find in the Haunted Mansion and just various discarded gifts and packaging, things like that. Uh, amazing details. Um, right over here, I love this this lamp and table that it's sitting on you've got a nice little little bed here that's got a rest in peace pillow on it love that this is a little closer look at that merry-go-round horse i was talking about that's there behind the bed and uh that banner again honoring frank and constance true love forever until you lose your head you know what I mean? <laughs> You've been there. Uh, here's another portrait right over here. Like I said, the lighting right now is not uh, not ideal to make that work, but you can sort of see Constance right there in it. Um, and then back here, got some nice mood lighting. There's some of that china like you would see on the ride. Um, some more dishes and a, a crate that's hidden behind this other packing uh, box. It's got various decorative items in it, hats and things like that. Um, some more china. This also has another air unit back here in case you want additional air while you're you're sleeping. Some people do like that additional additional uh, little breeze. Um, in the bedrooms, you'll notice there are fast chargers for your phone, so you don't even need chargers when you stay here. You got fast chargers. Look at that, and right down to the little minute details in this little box of that skull hiding in there. I mean, everywhere you look, there is amazing detail. Even right over here in this corner, look. There's Constance's dress. Yes, got a little sitting chair right here. And in the closet, there is the wedding gown sitting right there. Just amazing, amazing details in this bedroom. All right, we're going to go in here and take a look at the other couple of bedrooms uh, and the amazing detail that's in that. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit here in this sort of creepy hallway as well as some of the details. You know, we mentioned the ghosts or the gargoyles on the, the wall in the parlor. They're also above the bedroom doors. So let's take a couple uh, a couple minutes to look at the other two bedrooms here. 
All right, this is what I was talking about above the, the doors of the bedroom. Some more uh, gargoyles or ghost faces, whatever you want to refer to them as. Um, as well as I love that little grating that's there as well above each of the bedrooms. Before we go in there though, let's take a look at the hallway. There's a very cool grandfather clock right here. There's one of the bathrooms we'll take a look at in just a moment. Um, cool little grandfather clock. And uh, right here, if you need to do laundry, you got it. Washer and dryer, ironing board, iron, uh, washing uh, supplies. Awesome, awesome. Like I said, you don't need anything if you stay here. And this, if that's not Madame Leota's globe, I don't know what it could be. It's an amazing blue light that's mounted right here in the hallway that's uh, just like Madame Leota. All right, let's pop in here. Okay, we're going to go into hat box room. And hat box room, amazing, amazing. And we've got a little more light in here because, well, it's daylight out right now. <laughs> but uh, look at this. Look at this. Got a little recessed area over there that's got uh, some nice decor. We've got uh, some storage area here to put your clothes in. Lots of, lots of areas there. Some more areas there. There's another one of those fast chargers. Uh, we've got a mirror. You see right here on the desk is a changing portrait. Look at that little guy, huh? Just like hangs over the, the fireplace in the Haunted Mansion. Very, very cool. And uh, nice little decorative piece right here. It's, uh, I don't know, what do you call this? Four poster bed? Is that what they call it? With the, <laughs> with the things that, with the little staffs that go up? I don't know. I don't know my beds. But uh, this is what it looks like. Nice, nice bed with lots of hat box images above it on the wall. And I love that paint job on the wall or wallpaper or whatever it happens to be. It is fantastic and also matches the lamp. Look at that. <laughs> like I said, details for miles in this place. Details, details, details. All right. And if you need another mirror, there's another one right there on this side of the bedroom. Very, very cool. All right, let's hop into Master Gracie's bedroom. All right, entering Gracie's bedroom. Got a little smaller bed here. Perfect for, for our kids. Um, and again, fast chargers. Got some changing portraits here on the table. Amazing. I love those amazing details like that. Uh, we pop right over here and take a look at this, this pillow that's hidden here that is very, very much like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. Uh, not exactly, but very much like it. Uh, here's that Medusa portrait that changes on this table. How amazing is that? And then again, detailing, detailing, detailing in the walls and that looks kind of like maybe a, a rolled on print. Um, and then again, another recessed area over here that has a writing desk. And there's one of those gargoyle candle holders, a cut off foot. And when you see that, you don't really know if you should open this and look inside because you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> um, but there you go. Very, very cool little area. And uh, more detail up here. I mean, there's a little little basket even. And you just, I mean, everywhere you look, details, details, details. Amazing. All right, let's take a look at a couple of the bathrooms. All right, this bathroom has a fan in it, so there's going to be a little bit of background noise. Um, this is the bathroom that is the shared bathroom uh, in the in the hallway between the other two uh, two bathrooms, and. Uh, you know, you go, well, what, how detailed can a bathroom be? But it's pretty cool. Take a look. So you'll notice, again, all the detailing here. Uh, right up here in the ceiling, you've got some very, very nice detailing. You've got the little linen closet. Got a nice Haunted Mansion feel to it, as well as, uh, you know, that handle right there. Got some towels and uh, washcloths. Also have some over here that you've got uh, to use. Um, 
nice little lamp here next to the toilet and sink. And uh, look at the sink. Look at that. Amazing, amazing little, little detail. Um, and this, got the mirror inside the shower. You've got uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So you don't even need to bring that. It comes with it. And I love this hanging on the wall right here. Looks like some blueprints for the Haunted Mansion in Disney World. Lovely, lovely little picture and detail right there. All right, let's check out the next one. This is what I guess you would uh, be considered the, the master bath. It is right off of the bride's bedroom. Uh, you've got direct entry from it. So it's, uh, it's more of a master bathroom with the classic Haunted Mansion wallpaper. And this is not wallpaper. This is painted. I mean, that looks like hand painted face by face by face. It's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, so let's take a look at the details inside this bathroom. So looking at a little, a uh, little more detail in this bathroom, you'll notice, of course, flickering lamp as is with every lamp in here. Um, you've got your shower, your toilet over there. Uh, you have a double sink in this one. Uh, not really a double sink, but I mean, a, it could be, it's a long counter. You've got your sink and then a, a large area over here for, for preparation. So, you know, good for two people. Um, nice little detailing here on the faucet again. Uh, that's what the lamp looks like. And like I was saying, it, this is, I mean, that looks, that's painted. That's amazing right there that it's painted. Um, a little closer here. I think that's probably face by face, hand painted on. Pretty amazing. Um, got a nice little drapery over the mirror. There I am. Hello. And uh, again, towels, washcloths, everything that you need to stay. Um, let's see if I find, if I can find the, uh, the light for that bathroom. Uh, there it is. Kept it off because of the fan. Um, notice this is a nice little walk-in shower. Again, with your shampoo and conditioner and soap that you need. A uh, little toilet area right there. And this almost kind of looks like a mausoleum wall. I really like that. Almost, uh, yeah, very mausoleum and uh, graveyard-ish. And uh, very cool shower doors right there. All right, let's, uh, let's head out of here and go look at that conservatory. As we make our way to the conservatory, I just wanted to stop and look at this door for a second. It's a little dark, um, so it's hard to see, but this is, um, this is the door that goes into the bride's bedroom. And it's got these wonderful details of monsters. It's got a little door knocker here with um, Medusa and a lion. That's an amazing bedroom door. <laughs> so going back out here to see the conservatory, let's check it out. And here we are outside in the conservatory with a coffin behind me. <laughs> I swear, if you do not want to book and stay in this place yet, what is wrong with you? <laughs> because this is way too cool. Um, there's even like the little little pet graveyard over here. Come on, let's take a look. So this is what I was talking about in the corner, a little pet graveyard. You know, there's a pet graveyard, of course, outside of the Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World. And this represents that little... It's like a little puppy, little puppy tomb right there. Fantastic. Um, little area, small little area for a couple people to sit outside and get some nice fresh Florida air if it's not too hot. And here's that, that coffin. And now it's not a real coffin. It's uh, plastic. Perfect for outside Florida weather. Uh, but look, look at the details. I love the, the skulls that are on there. Fantastic. You got some uh, some plants and things like that. There's a door that goes out, but you know you can't access it because of the coffin. Uh, and then you've got your various funeral arrangements that are right over here, and uh, some more lighting, which I'm sure makes this look awesomely cool at night. That's <laughs> it's got to be amazing out here when it's when it's lit up. So that is a, a little look at the conservatory area, just as amazing as inside. 
And one last thing for those people that have watched the video and went, yeah, but wait, what, there's, where's the TV? The TV is that photo that I showed you earlier over the fireplace. And right there, you can have your pick of, you know, whatever. There's, uh, you know, all the different apps and various things uh, for you to watch television on. How awesome is that? <laughs> From multi-day luxury packages to dinner parties with celebrity chefs, you can book one-of-a-kind immersive experiences right here. Yes, make sure you check out the Ghoulish Sanctuary's website to get more information and find out how you can book through Airbnb and other sources so that you can come here and enjoy this ghoulish fun. It is so, so awesome. Uh, check out that website and... Uh, Definitely, it's going to make you want to be the 1,000th happy haunt. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>